Ops Core Fast SF is the Gucci of the Gucci helmets that all the operators are wearing. Weighing in at roughly 1.5 pounds naked, 2.5 pounds dressed, not with accessories. Extremely high cut to accommodate helmet mounted com communication systems and hearing protection. Made in America and roughly a 3A ballistic rating. To start, why would you want a helmet? To me, the helmet is one of the most important pieces of equipment that you can equip. It's very quick to equip and it provides you with a variety of accessories that you're gonna be using the helmet as a platform for. Most importantly, it provides protection to the computer that runs everything, your brain. Now, your brain may not be the fastest computer around, but it's still important to protect it. Not only does the helmet protect the system that runs all the other systems in your body, the helmet also supports a variety of other systems that are extremely important. Oh, well, why don't you just run a metal steel surplus helmet? Well, here's the thing, if you want it to be effective, you gotta mount accessories to it. That's why it's so important that the base weight of your helmet is under two and a half pounds because you're gonna be supporting so many other systems with this helmet. Integrated hearing and protection is incredibly important. Of course, there's a time and place where you're just gonna run comms only without a helmet, just like a headband, like any other system. But even on a, let's say, recce situation where you might want that, you'll still want passive protection for your noggin in case you fall on a rock and cane yourself. Having hearing protection mounted on the helmet means not only are you gonna protect your hearing, you're also gonna enhance your native hearing capabilities with the enhanced hearing protection. These electronic hearing aids are hearing aids. They enhance the sound that you hear while protecting you from the loud impulse noises that may occur during gunfire. Now for those of you who like to pretend you have friends, it also allows you to communicate with them using these leads. You can connect it to your other communication systems, whether that be a Baofeng, or a PRC or anything like that. Being able to hook into comms and share the same hive mind as all of your friends multiplies your effective force and lethality and survivability by a significant amount. Lastly, you can mount night vision to it or other optical imaging solutions, uh, which also increase your lethality and survivability. Now, I don't know if I would just casually roll around with this at my house with my night vision stored on it to keep it protected. I usually keep it inside of the helmet itself. Uh, but you could totally just leave it like this in a secure location. You have a bump in the night. You're, you can just don your helmet and you're ready to go. All your systems are on your head, just like that. Aside from being able to mount all of these important systems on the helmet, you don't have to take a round to your 3A helmet in order for it to be useful for you. You could fall on any number of things. You could hit your head on something and a concussion or worse, you could be in a vegetative state. All those are gonna negatively impact you anyway. Now the balance of the weight and the ballistic rating really do matter. Now there are rifle rated helmets. However, they're gonna be so heavy that at a certain point, once you've got all these accessories on it, you're gonna to wanna to take it off, which incredibly reduces its effectiveness if it's not on your head, right? Stay strapped to get clapped, rule one, have a gun. Rule two, if it's not in your head, it's not doing anything important now, is it? If there was a bump in the night or any type of situation and you could only put on one piece of gear, one piece of equipment, that be your plate carrier, your belt, your helmet, I would choose a helmet 10 times out of 10. Night vision capabilities, communications, hearing protection, passive bump protection, all in the top of your head. You're not really offsetting your balance at all. You can still maneuver things rather well. You don't have a giant belt and a pistol sticking off your hip. This thing is gonna get you through more situations than a plate carrier ever will. In fact, for the general firearms hobby, if I were to start somebody off, I would say build a red dot pistol with a light and get very good with it. Then get a helmet with your hearing protection and then go straight for night vision. Skip the AR-15 altogether because this is gonna be way more useful in most circumstances. You can put this folded down with the night vision off you can, put your, you can keep your firearm on you, your pistol, and you can just travel with this in a backpack and you're gonna have so much more capability than anybody with a rifle because you can see them before they see you. Not to mention evasion. You can see in the dark, you can evade most threats anyway. With night vision, no longer is there scary things in the night that you can't see. In fact, there's no more horror movie. You are the horror movie when you have this. You are the boogeyman. That's exactly why you should get a helmet. It allows you to be the boogeyman with a simple piece of equipment, one piece of equipment that integrates all of it. The core of it all is to be able to shoot, move, and communicate. Well, you can't shoot what you can't see. 
you need to be able to communicate and you need to keep moving because you've got passive head protection, you haven't been turned into a vegetable. No other piece of equipment allows you to shoot, move, and communicate as effectively as a properly equipped helmet. No other piece of equipment single-handedly benefits all of those categories as well as a well-finished helmet. Being able to shoot, move, and communicate are all enhanced by simply putting on one piece of equipment. You know what, your plate carrier, I mean, let's be honest, it's really just like a weighted blanket that you wear when you watch a movie at your house. And your battle belt, and really it just kind of gets in the way of the dinner table when you're eating your tendies with your family, and it kind of bumps into stuff. Uh, it's useful, but all those things are useful and you should have all of them, but really I think you should be prioritizing having a proper helmet setup. Please, buy a helmet. It will save your life.